Okay, so while we have this setup going, let's also cover a couple of other methods. So, so far we did cover get method to basically get some array values from a spreadsheet. We did cover this update method that basically just writes values to a spreadsheet. I am just going to comment these lines because I don't want to keep doing this every single time. So we'll keep this sheet in here so we can run some methods on it. So, so far we talked about, again, get an update. Let's do clear. So clear should allow us to basically just erase values from a spreadsheet. It will probably not touch the formatting, but just to make sure, let's apply some formatting. So to clear this, we're gonna need the clear method, which is right here, as you can see. Now let's see what we need to pass. It says spreadsheet ID and range. Now let's see if there is an example. There is an example, Python example. We're not gonna need this. So basically this is gonna be the command we have to do here. So we'll just go ahead and paste it here. Instead of this, we'll use our variable sheet and values we're gonna clear. So the spreadsheet ID again is gonna be that same spreadsheet ID as the variable. The range we're gonna clear. So again, we'll just set it as a string. It should be similar to this one, but this time we're not gonna just give it B2. We're gonna say from B2 through C4. And I think we should be able to do B2 through C to go all the way down if you wanted to. So let's try that. So just C, I'm not gonna set an end reference. You could do something like six here if you wanted to, but I'm gonna test what happens if we do this. Does it clear all the way down? Hopefully that's what happens. And finally, it says the body. Now, when I was looking at their docs as I was scrolling down, it didn't seem like the body was necessary for this. So I'm gonna try to not do that body because of what I saw there. And again, not to do the same mistake I did last time, let's make sure we execute this. So then we'll just print the response, let's just call it res. That will be our response from this. Let's see what this looks like. So let's try to run this and see if this gives us an error or if it works. So let's just go here and run this file. So again, that's gonna be python read.py which is our file name. Actually, that should be Python 3, not Python. There we go, let's run this. So we got this response, so no errors. Let's go check what happened. Okay, so it's been cleared. So that did work, so it basically goes all the way down. And as you can see, it does not clear the actual formatting. So if I type a number here, it's still gonna be that same dollar formatting, same color. So that was our clear method. So let's get back now and try to do append method. So append method is a method that should allow you to basically add to an existing list. So a good example of that would be if I just go to the sales worksheet, see we have all of these lines. Let's say we need our application to add another one of these lines below. So what's good about append compared to something like update is that with append, if you have more complicated application when you have things happening at the same time from different places, with append, you're gonna have Google Sheets basically keeping track of which line is the next one that needs to be added so there's no conflict between different codes running at the same time. Now let's try to use this and see how it works. So I'm gonna go back to this again. Let me close this and scroll down. See it says spreadsheet ID range. And there is an example of that. So again, I'm just gonna copy this. Go back, let's not run this one anymore. So I'm gonna comment that out and 
try this. So we'll do res again, and this is just gonna be the sheet. And we're gonna have panned to that same spreadsheet. So we'll use the variable, the range. So the range is basically gonna be how does it know where to look for the last row to add something to it. We're gonna say, from sales worksheet, it's gonna look from A1 through G1, and based on that, figure out what's the last row. So I'm gonna go back and do sales exclamation sign, A1 colon, and I forgot the column, G. G1. So I'm basically giving it the headers area, so value input options should be similar to update. So let's see, see this user entered, we'll use that as a string. Let me move this to the next line like this. Then we have this insert data option. Let's go check what that means. How the input data should be inserted. Overwrite insert rows. So I guess insert rows. So we'll go back and put that in here in quotes. Let's just move this to the next line like this too. And then finally the body, value range body. Let's see what that should be. Is it gonna be an object again or not? So again, go back, let's find the option here. So the request body is a value range, which I think is the same thing that I was doing, see, yeah, with updates. What I'm gonna do here, basically, I'm just gonna do what I did with update. So if I scroll up a little bit, see, with this update, we did this body, and we did an object or dictionary, whatever we call this thing in Python, and then we pass an array or list. So let's just call it data, and let's just create that data right here above. And we'll probably make it a list of lists, and it's just gonna be one row. Let's just provide those columns in the order they need to go. Let me go check out my data. So seems to be those are the columns. So we're gonna do this array of arrays thing and pass that data to this right there, and we'll just print the response to see what it tells us. So let's just test this to see what happens. Again, this sample spreadsheet ID is this variable right here on top. So I'm gonna rerun this thing. Okay, same mistake again, we need to execute this. So we got what seems to be a valid response. Let's just go check what happens. So see, we just did a new line right here, and apparently I didn't spell Joe right. Now let's go spell Joe right and try this again. So I'm gonna save this, run it again. It should add another line. See, we got another line of Joe below the other one. So we're basically adding lines. And even if you didn't have any more lines left, it should do it for you. So if I run this one more time, we should see that adds another line below. So it should just copy the same line again. See, that adds the row for us. Now, since it's accepting array of arrays, it should also let us then add multiple lines. So let's try that. So this is our first list. So I'm gonna do a comma and do another list. So let me change this data a little bit. So 
something like this. So let's try this and see what happens. So I'm going to save this, go back and run this again. So no errors, that's good news. Let's go check out. And as you can see, it works just fine. And if you wanted to skip columns, you probably need to pass an empty string, but maybe you could also pass none. So let me just try that. Let's try to rerun this and this one I'm gonna do an empty string. And this one I'm just gonna try to do none. Let's see if that works and if we get any difference whatsoever between the two. So no errors, let's go check out. So this is basically blank, this is blank. So basically you could do either one. All right, so that's that. And that should do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.